All right, so I asked you guys to find, uh, they are easy calculator problems, but I wanted you guys to draw the picture so you get the big idea. Normally, if I asked you the step before, you would have something like this, sine of 52 degrees uh, equals x. And this x here represents uh, a ratio of the side. So if you're starting here, theta is 52 degrees, you have the opposite over the hypotenuse. It's saying that the two sides, when you divide them together, will uh, equal that number. And that helps you find missing sides. OK, let's punch it in. Class, what uh, mode are you in? So degrees on my calculator, sine of 52, and I get 0 0.7880. Raise your hand if you got that. So class, if you're finding side lengths, should you cross multiply or take the inverse? Talk to your partner. If you're finding a side length, you On the count of three, one, two, three. Cross multiply. Write that down. When you're trying to find side lengths, you should be cross multiplying. Okay? Let's try this other one now. If I do the step before this one, you're going to um, reverse, right? You're going to draw your arrows. You're going to take the inverse. Your, your sine of x would equal 0.6. It's saying this unknown angle is opposite over the hypotenuse. And if you divide those two, you get 0.6. But that helps us find the angle. So in this problem, due to find angles, you have to do what? Cross multiply or inverse? Inverse. inverse. So here's my calculator ready equation. Remember, that is not the same button as sine. It is the inverse of sine in blue. So I'm going to press second, sine, and then 0.6. And if you round to the nearest tenth, our angle is 36.9 degrees.